cutting apart like this, sharp corners and burrs are to be expected. Breaking these edges by hand can be inconsistent, time consuming, and even dangerous at times. Deburring sharp edges on the machine is faster, safer, and completely repeatable. Multi-axis deburr uses a ball-nosed end mill or a lollipop mill to generate a machined edge break of a given size on sharp model edges. We can use this toolpath in any milling machine from 3-axis to 5-axis. The multi-axis deburr toolpath introduced in Mastercam 2019 has received several enhancements for Mastercam 2020. This part showcases the full 5-axis capabilities of deburr with some spectacular results. For example, this deburr path handles the entire inside area of the part in one flowing pass utilizing the undercutting ability of the lollipop mill. The tool holder is collision checked against the solid body. There are smooth entry and exit moves, as well as a final safe move to the clearance area. To create a deburr toolpath, we first select the solid body. By default, the toolpath will find all sharp edges on the body. We can then select some edges to avoid. The alternative option lets us manually define each sharp edge to be deburred. Let's deburr these two edges. Now, we define our edge break size. On the tool axis control page, we define whether this should be a three, four, or five axis cut. For this sample, let's use three plus two. Three plus two will index the cutter to a new orientation for each chain only when necessary, cutting down on extra five axis motion. As you can see here, we also have control over the tilt range of the five axis cut. We can then define how much collision clearance we would like for the tool holder, shank, and shoulder. Finally, we define our linking and clearance strategies using our standard multi-axis controls. The resulting toolpath is smooth, clean, easy to create, and it did not require manual geometry creation or model alterations.